Hey guys, it's Mr. Xbox Infinity here, and today I'm going to be showing you how to make an animated cursor in icon art. Um, if you don't have icon art, I'll put a link in the description so you guys can download it. First thing, just open it up and change the size, if it's not already there, to 32 by 32. And that's the the like the best size. You can do other sizes, but this one's easier. Um, so, first thing is draw like the point of what's going to be your cursor. So just go seven down, and then draw a triangle. There you go. And then fill it in, and then all the space that's left is where you draw your cursor. So, um, I'm just going to make that MLG symbol like I have as my cursor right now. Um, so, I'm going to speed up the video, and then I'll talk to you guys when it's done. Okay guys, so I have the first slide of my animated cursor done. It's just the background before I put any of the letters on. Um, so after you get done with that part, you're going to press animated, Animation Sequencer. And then you're going to right click on that slide right there and press Copy from Editor. And it'll copy what you have drawn right there. Um, and then you're going to press insert frame after and then you're gonna draw whatever else you want it to change it into after the first slide so um, for this cursor it's gonna spell out MLG like one letter at a time and then it's gonna flash three times um, so what you're wanna, gonna wanna do is I'm just drawing my text and you guys can do whatever you will on your cursor and um, I will put a link in the description um, for some of the cursors I've made too so you guys can have those um, and so I have my M right now so just gonna copy from editor again and then new slide and mix L and then copy from editor and last thing make the G messed up a little bit there Darn it. okay there you go um, last slide you're gonna import or insert a f frame after and then copy from editor and so there you have um, the spelling out of the MLG and then you're gonna import another or insert another frame after and for this one you're gonna wanna um, erase like everything you have except for the actual cursor part so uh, oh, sorry 
choose the color that you have set as your mask and fill that all in and then uh, press copy from editor and then another another frame after that um, and you're gonna now you're gonna right click on the last frame of the like the finished one basically and you're gonna press copy to editor and then you're gonna click on the frame that you just imported and press copy from editor so you have that same slide there and this is to make it flash so then you're gonna have another frame and copy this one to the editor and then copy it from the editor on the, that frame and then copy this to editor add another frame and then copy from editor okay and now you basically have your finished product right there except um, you can press play to see what it's gonna look like and um, that's a little too fast um, like to read so you, I'm just gonna add uh, or I'm gonna double up on the frames so it goes slower um, so just import a frame after every one and then um, copy to editor and then import it again and I'll just fast forward past this and I'll show you guys what it looks like when it's done Okay guys, um, now I'm done and you see I doubled up on every frame, you guys don't have to do that if you think yours is the right speed, then you press play and you see it goes slower now. Um, and so once you're like completely done, uh, make sure you don't save it up here because it's animated, save it from down here and then you're going to click wherever your hotspot is your hotspot is like wherever you want uh, your cursor t to uh, click on something that's the spot that it's going to click from um, and so just click one little pixel right there and then save as and just give it a name and then save it Okay, um, and now I'll show you how to make it your cursor. Um, you're just going to go to wherever you saved it to. Mine is in my pictures. Um, and then you're going to, um, you're going to copy it. And then you're going to go to... Uh, wherever your windows is and then go to um, go to windows and cursors and then you're just gonna paste it in here make sure you know what it's called so you can find it and press continue and it will copy so mine's named cursor 2 so then you're just gonna exit out of that and then press start and go to your control panel and then go to appearance and personalization um, personalization mouse pointers and then for your normal mouse you're, then you're gonna press browse and go all the way down to where yours is so mine's cursor 2 cursor 2 right there and then open and you'll see a preview right there and all you have to do is press apply and you see it change just a little from what I had before and you exit out and you're done so uh, thanks for watching guys and I'm giving a shout out to homemade and 
classic echo um yeah that's it don't forget to comment rate and subscribe and i'll see you guys later